All right, here's my build setup for the RSF 650. I got my 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery I used on another build. So I'm gonna test it with that. I bought this great kit from Geraldo Cialis or Geraldo Cialis, probably butchered his name. But one thing I noticed with this kit compared to the cheaper Chinese kits I've used in the past is the few wires that it has. All the wires are plug and play and it's gonna be a nice clean build. The motor already has the bolts recessed. So it should be easy plug and play on the motor. And this throttle is great. It's got a voltmeter, three speed, plus key on and off switch. So this should be an easy install and most of the stuff will be plug and play. So let's get into it. I did remove the plastics. I started from the back and moved forward. The fuel tank was hard to get out, but you just pop these black plastic inserts out. Um, I use a little plastic pry bar, got those out, and then the white piece, the tank, comes out pretty easily. So now that I got this kind of stripped down, I'm going to start taking the batteries out and the motor, get this chassis lightened up, fit in the battery, and then I'll build from there. Alright, we got the motor mounted, the rear tire mounted, new chain mounted with a 14 tooth motor sprocket. All right, I'm prepping the battery for connection in the RSF 650. What I did was I put an XD60 connector on to the output, and I'm also going to add an XD60 connector to the charge port so that I can plug and play with the charge port on the bike. You could use this charge port, but I like the factory one. It just looks nice. So what I'm going to do here is I carefully pulled back the sheathing and I cut I'm going to cut each wire separately because I don't want to cut them together so it sparks. And then I'm going to do the solder and seal connectors and connect the charge port. To mount the battery in the frame and protect it, I decided to use the foam box that the battery was shipped in. It's kind of nice. It holds it nice and tight. What I did was I used a bread knife, trim down the edges so it'll make it fit, get rid of a little bit of the fatness. But what I'm gonna do is use this and then some Velcro straps to secure it into the frame. I think it'll be really good. It protects the battery. Okay, this is how I packaged everything in the bike. I totally encased that battery in foam and then duct taped the outside all black. I use these Velcro straps to secure it in the frame. Those are 18 inches long. And then I use the old factory mount for the controller and I cut the battery portion off and it worked perfectly for that Kelly controller. Only thing I had to do was I drilled one hole through the frame here and then now that controller is nice and securely fastened and now I'm just going to connect the wires up and get this thing going, add the throttle and brakes. All right, here's my 48 volt 2000 watt build, the 2000 watt motor, 48 volt 14 amp hour battery. Kelly controller, three speed throttle with the key. I got up to about 37 miles an hour, which is pretty epic for a bike this size. Honestly, I don't know if I want to go any faster. It was a little dicey at that speed. I did put the MX650 fork on there. Got the hydraulic zoom brakes. This build is coming along nicely. Now I'm going to add a lot of the peripheral stuff, such as headlight horn and some LEDs. This is what the final build looked like when all said and done. I hope you liked this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.